So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question, just given the length of the question. The question says a circle has been divided into three non-overlapping regions, one, two, and three. So no idea how it's been divided. It does not say it's been divided evenly. So, you know, I'm going to draw my circle here. I think that I'm going to need to use the strategy plugin picture just so I can visualize what's coming next. But as of right now, I just know there's three regions. So I'm not going to divide them into those three regions quite yet. The next part of this question says the area of region one is four pi square centimeters. Okay, so how, so how do you get an area of a circle? The area of a circle is pi r squared. Um, so in order for the area to equal four pi, the only way that could have happened is if r is equal to two. The radius would have to be equal to two. Now, that's very interesting. Um, so if I had a circle with a radius of two, this is very interesting. So I'm, st I'm still not certain because it looks like now it's going to say the area of region two is 12 pi centimeters squared. But that would mean that the radius was equal to square root 12. And the area of region 3 is 16 pi. Well, that would mean the radius was equal to 4. But how can you have different radii for the same circle? I'm not certain yet. So I'm just making my notes right now. This is all a part of my translate word problem. I know I have three regions, but these are I'm getting three separate radii based upon the areas of these regions. If a point in the circle is selected at random, what is the probability of selecting a point that does not lie in region two? Okay, so here's the deal. I don't think I actually need to draw a picture for this question because as much as this question started off looking like a circle question, it is actually a probability question. And I love probability questions because they always work out the exact same way. Probability is always, always on this test going to be a fraction where the numerator is what you want and the denominator is what you have. So what do we want? The probability of selecting a point that does not lie in region two. Well, what does that mean? That means it lies in either region one or three. So the area for region one is four pi. And the area for region 3 is 16 pi. So what we would want is for that point to be in either of those areas, which is a total of 20 pi. Now, what do we have? Well, we have the entire circle, including region 1, 2, and 3. So that would be 4 pi plus 16 pi plus region 2's 12 pi. So that would be 32 pi. So there is my probability fraction. The pi's cancel out. They're not important. I have 20 over 32. The question says express your answer as a decimal or a fraction. So 20 over 32 can be reduced um, to 10 over 16, and then even further to 5 over 8. So that's the most reduced fraction I could use. If you wanted to turn it to a decimal, just put it into your calculator. Be perfectly fine. I'm happy with leaving it as a fraction. So 5 eighths must be our answer. So again, probability, very important. Remember that it's what you want over what you have.